actually, or any expansion program, will allow you to type a keyword and hit the activation key and then it will populate to the description that is assigned to that keyword. So that's basically the technology that goes behind the, the product itself. For healthcare documentation specialist, this technology it kind of helps save your job in a way because when you transcribe you, a lot of information is repetitive and you are able to put that I call it canned text into a dictionary file and you can many many times recall that same information it has no typos it has no spelling errors it's correctly um, it's grammatically correct with all its periods, capitalizations, and, and so forth. So it makes you look a lot better when you're listening to the audio file and it's not being quite said correctly or grammatically um, correct, then you can fix that on your end and have that manipulated in your can tech. Some of the um, methodology in building these keywords, that's really important because you want to pay attention to how your mind thinks so if you're building a grocery list and you're going to the grocery store and you keep put track of your inventory in your refrigerator, so you're building a grocery list. So I tell my users, okay, when you're at the grocery store, you're going down the aisles and you're looking at all those products lined up on the shelf, what would you name Campbell's Soup? What would you name Kellogg's Frosted Flakes? What would be the keyword? So Kellogg's Frosted Flakes would be KFF, right? that just makes sense to me, but it might be K-E-L-F-F -F for you. So it just depends on what your mind tells you and, and I try to instruct that you listen to your brain because it will define the keywords for you from a phrase or a paragraph or a subtitle. You just need to pay attention to, to what it is telling you when you see or hear something.